So Hot Rod Charlie and Jackie Joel Rosario go gate to wire in the Louisiana Derby. I'm Randy Moss. Jerry Bailey and I are going to take you through it from start to finish with our big screen monitor here. At the start, though, watch the four Proxy right here in the Godolphin blue. Proxy gets squeezed as he leaves the starting gate. Wearing those white blinkers for the very first time, they wanted him closer to the pace than that. Didn't happen. Starring in my dreams, post one also didn't break very well. But watch the five. Now that's your winner. That's Hot Rod Charlie. In the Breeders' Cup, he was eight lengths off the pace and rallied from behind. This is the first time in his life he's ever made an early lead like this. And Jerry Mandaloon getting the same sort of three wide trip early that he got in his previous two starts. Yeah, you know, look, Joel Rosario made the best move uh, out of the gate. Go, go ahead and take the lead. He didn't go for it. He just allowed the horse to get into stride, and it put him there naturally. Mandaloon was trying to keep Proxy in behind those horses and succeeded in doing that, but he, he worked a three-wide trip, which wasn't the best of all. But Mandaloon was never in the bridle early like he had been in the Risen Star. So Midnight Bourbon right now is laying second just off of Hot Rod Charlie. That's exactly the same position Midnight Bourbon was in in the Risen Star. About a half length off the lead, sitting right there, Mandaloon third. Proxy is already being ridden by John Velasquez, just like he was in the Risen Star as well. He kind of came off the bridle a little bit at this point, even with the blinkers, started dropping back, and Velasquez had to get into him to get him going again. But right here, with the, with the fractions the way they were, Hot Rod Charlie's in control. He is. I could see Mandaloon and his jockey, Florian Giroux, asking before they hit the top of the stretch. I, I kind of figured he was empty. Why, I don't know. And he stopped badly through the stretch. Proxy was in his usual, let's try and keep up, but not keeping up mode, even with the blinkers, as you point out. I thought Midnight Bourbon had the best chance here uh, of taking down Hot Rod Charlie. But, you know, as we discussed on the show, it looks like the California horses might be just a cut better than these horses here because uh, Hot Rod Charlie just drew away again. The farther they went today, the farther uh, Hot Rod Charlie was going to win by. That was Mandaloon I pointed at, by the way, disappearing into the horizon. Proxy's well beaten as well. So Hot Rod Charlie wins it over Midnight Bourbon. A good effort for Midnight Bourbon as a runner-up. Hot Rod Charlie and Rosario. Now Rosario has a choice to make. He's also the regular rider of Concert Tour, who won the Rebel Stakes so impressively for Bob Baffert. You would have to think he would be leaning toward Concert Tour, but he's still got a race to go in probably the Arkansas Derby. He does. And, and look, Joel, as, as any jockey should, will not make a commitment unless he's forced to. And I don't think he will be forced to make any cho choice until after the final prep is done. You know, and that's good for Joel. So thanks for watching our little handy dandy big screen Louisiana Derby analysis. We'll both be back next week to tell you what happens in the Florida Derby, where greatest honor is going to be the heavy favorite.